any views or opinions yeah. expressed in this podcast are not the Just views and opinions of I every said, podcaster. Don't take it literal, dog. I'm not that one. Please remain quiet while we read the disclaimer. <laughs> just don't, so that there's just, no, just mis- don't, no, no misunderstanding don't or confusion. The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are not that of those of everyone sitting at the table. They are simply the opinions and views of the very person that speaks them. This podcast is not responsible for any type of personal offensiveness that may arise from comments or topics discussed on the podcast if you have a problem with it there is a button somewhere down at the bottom i'm not sure exactly which corner but you can simply unfollow thank you for your viewership hey motherfuckers how's everyone the gemini music group that's great y'all last night i went to uh jersey (laughs) mind your business (laughs) but um i went to jersey for i went to trenton for the first time, I've never been to Trenton in my life, and it takes you through Philadelphia. I thought I would have to go through, like, all of these tolls and pay all this money, but I didn't. It was just straight shot, Trenton, no tolls going, $3 coming back. Yeah, that's a trip I'll take again, no problem. But that's not why we're here. We're here because, oh, I did have something to say about why I went to Jersey last night. I went to Jersey, mind your business, and I went to the liquor store. The liquor store has all of the old school classic drinks in there. Y'all remember Arbor Mist? I ain't never seen Arbor Mist in Delaware. Like, I ain't seen Arbor Mist in Delaware since, I want to say, the early 2000s. I haven't seen it since. They had Alizé. I ain't seen that. And it was something else that they had out there. I just know I said I'm going to go back and just start collecting all those bottles. Definitely going to crack them open. Oh, they had that MD. We thought it was Mad Dog back in the day. But it's, it was like something else. I, I think, I forget what the real name is, but they had the the MD, what was it, 2020, MD 3030 or whatever it's called. We all thought it was a mad dog, but it's it was something completely different. But anyway, now that's not why we're here. We're here because it was some stuff I wanted to talk about. So I really, you know, you know me, y'all. I mind my business when it comes to celebrities and shit like that, but... The Little Dirk situation, I didn't know nothing about it, but you know, Facebook and Instagram going to tell you everything. Basically, his mans had been wearing a wire for the last 14 years. Like, this nigga woke up every day and put a wire on for 14 years. And that's your mans in them, right? Now, I asked this question, I want to say maybe about two, three years ago. And y'all tried to eat me up in the comments about this. I said, how the fuck is we as women supposed to know that we getting played by a nigga when this nigga is fucking us, eating us, maybe paying a bill or two, maybe paying all the bills, maybe doing everything in the world, right? How the fuck we supposed to know that this nigga really ain't shit at the end of the day when your man's in them, that's your homie, your ride or die, money over bitches type nigga, right? How you don't know that that nigga is fake too? We supposed to know, y'all be like, choose better men. But y'all be picking the same type of niggas to hang with. And he will either shoot you, fuck your bitch, or set you the fuck up with the FBI. Or the federal or whoever the fuck they going to set you up for. Why you don't know either. Because y'all not getting fucked. Are you? I hope not. But that's your business if it is. Nope. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. If you on the download, you need to tell somebody. Because that's dangerous. That's dangerous as fuck. But that's what, that's what I was asking y'all. Y'all ate me up in the comments talking about something. How I'm supposed to know that he ain't loyal to you? I said, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm trying to ask you how are we supposed to know when y'all don't know either is what I was trying to ask. But y'all y'all wasn't understanding the question. Y'all, y'all just wanted to jump down a female's throat. <laughs> you can't jump down mine. I know you want to. I know you want to, but you can't. You can't jump down mine. Because I'm not going to let you. Because you nine times out of ten, when I'm reading y'all answers and y'all responses, y'all didn't read what the fuck I said. Y'all wasn't thinking outside the box. And that's why I can't have certain conversations with people. I actually got blocked. I got blocked the other day. Hold on, let me sip my wine. I got the cheap shit today. That cheap shit hit every time. I don't care what y'all say. 
But I got blocked the other day. And the only reason why I even knew I got blocked is because when you're a content creator, it'll let you know who's, like, if they can't send you a friend request, it'll automatically go to uh, following. Or if they send you a friend request and you haven't accepted yet, they automatically become a follower, right? Right. So there's one particular person. Um, he was my friend on Facebook. And he he been trying to, like, I guess, talk to me, holler at me, whatever. But I haven't really been paying him no mind. I, I just... I don't I don't do all the uh under my comment flirt with me. Like I might flirt back with you just for entertainment purposes, but I'm not gonna do it too much. Just be just in case my man that ain't my man but should be my man is watching. I don't I don't do too too much in the comments. And a lot of y'all think when people comment on my post that I actually know them personally or that I'm fucking them or whatever. I don't know 90% of the people that comment. The people that I know in real life really don't comment like that. It's maybe, it might be like 1% that I actually comment on my post that actually know me in real life. Other than that, I tell these other people that don't know me in real life that I'm just the AI. I'm not really real. I'm not really real. I'm, you know, but they end up seeing me out and about, which makes it, I'd be like, that wasn't me. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not real in public. Like, I'm just not a real person. But um, he blocked me because he had made a comment on one of my posts. I had made a post that said, could you marry the last person you had sex with? Some people was like, yep, absolutely. Some people were like, I am married. Da, 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 da. Some people said, yeah, if they did this. Some people said, yeah, if they did that. Some people was like, no, because they do this. So I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. So this particular person was like, absolutely I would marry her if she quit smoking and I said okay well why don't you help her quit smoking if that's her only flaw why don't you help her quit smoking I said it's some videos on YouTube that she could possibly watch and you could possibly watch with her he said she already knows that I'm sh no he said I'm sure she probably already knows that it's a lot of people that don't know about YouTube University I know we all think we know, but a lot of people really don't know about YouTube University. I found this video about three years ago. Somebody showed it to me. Matter of fact, it was a little bit longer than three. It's probably about maybe four, four or five years ago. This guy I was dating in North Carolina, he showed me the YouTube video on how to quit smoking because he said he was smoking real heavy. And he found the video. It basically, you know, hypnotizes you while you're sleeping and it helps you quit. He said he watched it one time and he was done. I watched it. I quit for maybe about eight months, six to eight months. I quit smoking. Um, but I was like, I ended up forcing myself to smoke again. So I forced myself to smoke again. But yeah, I know, whatever. But I did quit for six to eight months, though. And then uh, maybe about... Two, three years later down the line, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done for real this time. I don't want to smoke anymore. I watched the video again, and this time it stuck. I haven't had a cigarette in uh, coming up on three years now. I'm coming up on three years that I haven't had a cigarette. So I was saying that because somebody said to me that, that I was dating when I first came to Delaware that, you know, they don't like me smoking. They don't want me to smoke. And in order for me to have wanted to date them, I changed that about myself. I didn't want to smoke no more, not only for myself, but I didn't want to smoke no more for him because I wanted to see more appealing to more people. When you're smoking as a woman, it's not that sexy and it's not as appealing. So me being plus size, plus smoking, plus being a workaholic, I wasn't as appealing. So I had to cut something out, you know what I'm saying, just so I'm more appealing to the eye. That's for me. Like a lot of people might be like, I'm not changing shit. I'm not compromising. I'm not dimming my light. That's fine for you. You don't have to. But I will because that's something that I want. If I want to be in a relationship and I want to seem more appealing to someone, I will change because that's what I want. You do what you want to do for that person. Or would they say how to say and go? Uh, you make time for the things that you want. Hold on. No, I'll call her back. And uh, 
What? Oh, I, I'm sitting here looking at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, anyway, back to the guy in the comments. He was like, she probably already knows that. It's okay. My princess is out there somewhere. Why don't we sit and talk about her or some shit? No, before he said that, he said, that's okay. My princess is out there somewhere. And I said to him, I said, yeah, she definitely deserves better for somebody that's actually willing to work with her as well and not just because she has this one flaw, like you was willing to marry her, but because she had one flaw that could be easily fixed, that could easily change. Like may, if she would have said, hell no, I ain't never quitting, whatever, whatever. But even still, like I'm just saying, this this be the concept that I be trying to get people to understand. If you got $99 in your pocket and, and you see a dollar on the ground, you going to pick that dollar up, and in the process of you picking that dollar up, you lost that 99. Just for that one little flaw, like, I'm not worried about you. It's going. Nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect. I don't know if y'all looking for perfection out of people, but nobody's going to be perfect. You build a perfect relationship. You build a perfect marriage. You build that shit. Ain't nobody coming perfect to you, beloved, because you're not perfect to somebody. But anyway, that's not here. That's not what we here. Yeah, that's why we're here. Whatever. Anyway, did I talk about little Dirk and them? They said, what they say? Somebody said, just remember, India, is that her name? I think that's his girlfriend's name. India didn't wear the wire. His homeboy did. That's what they said. And y'all be on some money over bitches, bros before hoes. But in reality, y'all bros really don't like y'all. Y'all talk about us. Y'all talk about how females got more issues with other females. At least the bitch be loud about it. Like, the bitch can't fake it for so long, and we can tell when a bitch really don't like us. There's certain shit that the bitch going to say and do to let us know. She really don't like us, and we got to fall back from her. She can only play it off for so long. That nigga played that shit off for 14 years. 14 years. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. I'm sorry. But y'all be in them relationships that long too. Fucking with people that you know really don't like you, but you don't want to start over or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I was going to talk about Young Thug, but I really don't know too much about that situation. I just know that Mariah, the scientist, don't even know who she is or what she's saying. But she held her man down the entire time and everybody was calling her a fool for that. But I promise you, I ain't hear nobody else. I ain't hear none of his mans in them holding him down. But that's just me. I ain't hear nothing. Y'all might have heard something, but I ain't hear nothing. I ain't hear his mans in them holding him down. I know that I know that Mariah, excuse me, apparently they just started dating before he got indicted and she's been holding him down since day one. And a lot of people like, oh, no, mm -mm." a lot of females like, no, no way. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. We know. We know the moment, the moment shit go back, you out. (laughs) We already know. We already know you don't love that nigga for real. You don't love him for real. If, if I'm with a man and I love him for real, I'm sticking it out. I'm not dipping off the moment something bad happened jail unless they say life then there's nothing I can do about that like yeah baby I'm out because it's life I mean <laughs> would you would, what like what it's life it's life I can't do life that I can't do I can't do life I'm not doing life if it's like a couple of years I can do a couple of years I did it before I did it when I was like 18 19 years old with my uh my oldest son dad yep sure did but anyway that's neither here or there. Is it okay if I look at my phone for my next topic? Okay. Real quick. <laughs> Real quick. <gasps> okay, I got two I got two questions for y'all. I got two questions for y'all. One, what do y'all consider a BBW? Because I feel like I'm in this BBW group, right? And I feel like they low key talking about me every time they say it's not BBW women in this group. And I feel like because of the attention 
that I be getting, I don't even be posting like that. Like I'll post some pictures here and there, but not like that. Like I'm, or I might post a picture in the comments and the picture in the comments be going off. And I think ever since then, I don't know if they're talking about me personally. I really don't, but I just feel like I might be in the, I might be grouped in the topic of them talking about me. I'm going to say it like that. Cause they'll post, um, a lot of these females really ain't BBW. And then they were like, well, what do y'all consider a BBW? Some people say, I thought it meant beautiful black women. Some people say big, be- big, big black women or some shit like that. Some dude said, I thought it meant Buffalo Wild Wings or some shit. I forget what he said. But nobody really actually, you know, broke down what does BBW mean. And then somebody was like, weight category. They said, well, we can't go by weight category because weight and height makes a difference. And I said, yeah, because I'm five, four and a half. I'm 240 pounds. I said, you know, that's considered overweight. So am I not a BBW because of the simple fact? Because the way that my body is built, I don't look like a, I can't even say that word. I don't look like a, a big woman. Can I say that? I think I can say that without getting ate up in the comments. I thought it was, people can't hear me. Yeah. I thought it was beautiful black woman. That's what I thought. That's what they was, some people said that in the comments, but other people said, no, it's for big black women or some shit like that. Like for bigger women. But I guess I don't fit in the category as a big woman because I'm considered just thick. But I'm like, bro, I'm 5'4", 240 fucking pounds. I'm just sticking the right places then, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm wearing it well. I, I don't know because it is... It'd be females that's the same height as me, same weight as me, and they look a hot bit of every fucking mess. It just looks sloppy. I'm not, it is what it is. Y'all look sloppy. I'm sorry. Y'all be looking sloppy, and then y'all be wearing the crop tops with y'all, with y'all muffin tops hanging over y'all pants. It looks disgusting. Now, I have a fupa. I got. I don't wear no girdle or none of that stuff. You gonna get the fupa that I have for you in stock. That's what I got. But I also know how to wear my clothes properly. Before I walk out that house, I'm looking in my full size mirror to see how I look to make sure. All right, if I do this dance move, is it gonna roll down? Cause I don't want my stomach to fall out. I don't want it to fall out. Like I don't like I don't want to keep pulling my shirt down, pulling my pants up. Like I be like, but sometimes like yeah, throughout the night my pants do get a little loose and they come down a little bit, and I gotta pull them up a little bit. But other than that, like some people be like, nah, let them join. Nah, let it see it. I want to see. I want to feel. I be like, okay, they okay, they like them a little. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but I wear. I don't wear girdles. I, I wear I do wear high it was not high waist underwear. They're more so like boy shorts underwear. And that tucked my foop in a little bit too. I don't know. I don't know. But some of y'all, I be seeing y'all stomach before I see you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, I know y'all gonna be like, oh, you can't talk about us because you're not big, but I am. I just wear my shit well. I was very athletic in school. I was I played volleyball ran track. I even tried to sign up for wrestling. I played basketball. I was a very active teen, so my body ain't just falling apart like a can open the biscuits. I'm just not falling apart like that. You know what I'm saying? So, and I got good jeans. My mama thick. My mama thick. My mama like five, seven, five, eight. I don't know. To me, every time I see somebody that's about five, seven, five, eight, I feel like y'all are fucking jolly green giants to me. Like, y'all tall as fuck than me. I don't know why y'all are that damn... My homegirl, my sister, my baby, I love her. She 5'8", and I feel like she's towering over me. And then when she wear her heels, I be like, bitch, bitch. Like, it, it, y'all are tall as hell to me. You say, huh? You be like, what? Bitch, bitch. I'm mad you made me want to repeat that. <laughs> I love her though, but like she tall as hell. Like I didn't realize I was even that short. Cause until y'all really started like making size and height a thing, I never knew I was that 
fucking short. I never knew that until I want to say late last year. That's when I realized I was actually short. And people always called me short. My my first husband's husband, mother, would call me a short little thing all the time because she's tall. She's like five eight, five nine. And she's tall, and she just kept calling me a little thing all the time. I'm like, Mom, we like the same height. What you talking about? She said, no, we are not. I'm like, are you sure? I feel like I'm like right here with you. I feel like, no. And now that I'm looking at her, I'm like, yo, you really is tall as fuck, though. Like, y'all made me see height. I never seen height. I never was the, I want a 6'4 man with a beard type person. I was never that. Like, if I thought you was cute, I didn't care how fucking tall you was. As long as you was taller than me, hell, I dated somebody that was 5'5 five five earlier this year. He ain't look short to me until he told me he was 5'5. Five five. I was like, is you? Well, you look good. That's all that matters. I'm, if I'm attracted to you, I don't give a fuck how tall you are. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't bother me. It don't matter. I don't care. Anyway. This cheap wine is pretty good. This is. Hold on. I'm doing the podcast. I'm going to call you right back. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what was I going to say? All right. So I seen a topic online. How long have I been talking? 20 more minutes. 20 minutes? 21. Oh, I'm going to set up there. I didn't know I was talking that long. <laughs> I ain't know. Huh? Yeah, let's end this one and then start another one. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Did I eat today? I did. I had a turkey base, turkey bacon um, sandwich. But anyway, all right, you motherfuckers, y'all stay tuned. We be right back. Don't bust that nut. We be right back. I'm coming back. I'll be back. All right, motherfuckers, love you. Bye. The Gemini Music Group.